the way the medicine man went and got guiding spirit contact with animal or whatever it is, they kept on that since every winter they got strong and power came to them. They got strong and power came to them. 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 Everything was different. Clear air and wilderness and they could get in touch with animals like that. But I don't think they can now. Everything gone, noise and all. All right, legend days will be over. Humanity is coming soon. No more legend days. There will be no more. And they will be sad like I am, broken hearted over my last child, never to return again. Death takes her.
What is this? <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hey! Happy birthday. hey. 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 Yes, yes. Wait, no and way. then I go away. Oh, shit. It's, it's my brother, guys. I'll be right back, I swear. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't, don't cut that cake without me. I'll be back in just one second. Hey, Dwayne, how's it going? <sighs> this is the true story of the meeting of two lonesome, melancholic, barely young white men on a planet which was dying fast. One of them was a science fiction writer named Kilgore Trout. He was a nobody at the time, and he supposed his life was simple. He was mistaken. As a consequence of the meeting, he received a message from the creator of the universe. The man he met was an automobile dealer named Dwayne Hoover. Dwayne was on the brink of going insane. Now, this is not a story of biblical proportions. There is no great storm and no great big ark carrying animals of two. This is simply the true story of two brothers, Kilgore Trout and Dwayne Hoover, and their trip to the dying body of water known as Lake Pyru. Here, sir, I have another car to show you. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Eh? 
Now this one's the safest in the lot. You don't want grandma going through the windshield, do you? Now I know you love your country, and if you really do, you're gonna prove it by buying this Patriot right here. Now this Honda right here, it's a perfect family car, but it'll also get you the latest. Bulletproof glass? We definitely wouldn't have that, sir. Meet me in the back. Now this one has a huge trunk. You could fit like a whole guy in there. Maybe even three kids. Got another one. Now you look like a big man. You want a car with a lot of horsepower like this one right here. Another one. Now I can tell you're a real speed team. Right here we got the sportable, sweet, dynamic. It's amazing. It's fast. Faster than you can imagine. I'm on fire today. Now this right here, this is a holy car. Perfect for taking to church. You want to be a spy? You want to look mysterious and cool and shit? This right here, 007 would drive this shit. If you buy this car right now, I'll give you 50% off at this place. Get your kids some braces. I know they need them. Now this right here, that's a party van. Now this car right here, it's indestructible. Best day I've had all year. Bobby, is Santino there? Yeah, tell him it's Dwayne. I'm calling about that money I borrowed a while back. Yeah, you'll put him on? Thanks, man. Hey, Santino, yeah, it's Dwayne. I'm calling about that money I borrowed a while back. No, look, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get that money to you, okay? I was just under the impression that this was a friendly type of loan. Okay, now I'm beginning to get the impression that you're acting very unfriendly. I'm just gonna chalk that up to a bad day with the missus, but uh... No, I, I completely understand that, but if you just give me one more week, I can... Now that's a little unprofessional of you to say. Well, that's completely uncalled for. You really didn't have to take it there. Now, I don't have a wife, but if I did, I wouldn't let my wife take so many vacation trips to Mykonos so she could sleep with every tall tan Helene bartender she comes across. You're lucky I don't... You're sending who to my house? Look, sir, I'm sorry about that stuff I said about your wife and those Greek men, but you really gotta see it from my perspective. I, I was just trying to...
Kilgore, I got an idea. Let's go camping. What? What the hell are you on about? Come on. Should you be at work? Yeah, I called off. Wanted to spend some quality time with my little bro. Plus, you gotta get some inspiration for that next book of yours, you know? Yeah, but like, it's the middle of winter. Oh, Christmas is in three days. It's gonna be freezing out there. Yeah, Christmas camping. It's a thing. Everything okay? Cheery, it's Christmas morning. Now go get your shit. We gotta get out of here before it gets dark. All right, all right, sure, why not? Oh yeah, and no need for a shower. Soon we'll be bathing in the beautiful waters of Lake Pyro. All right. So Lake Pyro, right? Yeah. Hmm, never been there. Me neither. Wait, hold up, I forgot something. I'll be right back. Where the hell are you going? Get Just back in the car! Just one sec. Damn it. Hey, Dwayne. Hey, Kilgore. What, what you doing down there? Nothing. Uh, I was taking a nap because you were taking so damn long. What, what did he get anyways? Oh. Her, our little Hawaiian good luck charm. She's perfect. Huh. Well, we're not even going to Hawaii. Well, this is the closest thing that we're going to get to that. <sighs> Whatever, man. Let's just get out of here. I see memories out of the past, memories that will always last, all the things beside. Energy, that rush, that euphoria, that spur of the moment feeling. That's nature, man. That's the shit you ought to put in those books of yours. I like the things I write about. <laughs> what, those fucking fairy novels? No one's ever gonna wanna read that shit, Kilgore. Look, I keep telling you, you gotta come work with your big bro. I'll set you up with so much money, you won't know what to do. <sighs> I'll think about it. <laughs> no, you won't. You won't because you got your brain buried six feet under and you think out your ass. 
you know, when I dropped out of community college, that was probably the one of the greatest decisions I've ever made. What are you even gonna do with a degree in creative writing anyways? Write creatively. <laughs> All right, smartass, let's see how well that turns out for you. You know, I'm only this tough on you because I love you. I know, I love you too. You know, now that mom and dad are gone, gone, are gone, are gone, are gone, are gone, are gone, are gone. can't keep doing this. Fuck. Frontal car crashes. Each year they kill thousands of Americans and injure hundreds of thousands. The majority of all fatal injuries to people in collisions occur in head-on and angled frontal car crashes. In a frontal crash, it's all over in a split second. Let's imagine that we're in the front seat of a car like this, that these test dummies are me, or you, or someone you love. Watch. You know, now that mom and dad are gone, I gotta take care of you, and I don't wanna embarrass myself by letting you turn into some hippy-dippy loser that writes books that only pretentious assholes with degrees in pissant majors are ever gonna read. You know, I didn't have a dad growing up, and probably for the best, cause Nowadays, most dads seem to be drunks or idiots that take their rage out on their wives. Not that your pop was like that, but, you know, now that he's gone, uh, I gotta be the one to take care of that fatherly shit. You know, teach you about life. You know how heavy that shit weighs on my shoulders? Really damn heavy. Look, now that the summer's coming up, you're gonna come help around the dealership. God knows we could use the extra help, and I know you could use the extra money. Now's really the time to start saving. I can't, I was gonna mention this earlier, but a few of my friends offered to help me go on a trip to France over the summer, and uh, we're also thinking about backpacking across Europe. Kilgore, you're wasting it. You're wasting your prime, man. Now's not the time to go jerk off with your friends in Europe. Now's the time to stay here with your older brother and make some money while it's still on the table. But Dwayne, I... Look, Kilgore, let me tell you a little story. So, you know, back in the 1800s, the natives used to hunt buffalo. I mean, these things were everywhere, and when they would kill one, they wouldn't just use it for their meat. No, 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 no. They'd take everything. Skin for teepees, fur for robes, teeth for necklaces. They'd grind up their hooves for glue. And they made these gnarly ass spears out of bones, and whatever other kind of crazy shit you can think of. You see, they would strip everything off that animal. They needed it to survive. Then. When the cowboys came into town with their hats and guns and shit, they would shoot the buffalo. But just for me. Hell, sometimes they'd just shoot him for fun. And soon enough, they shot so many fucking buffalo that they almost went extinct. But the US government didn't give a shit. In their eyes, for every buffalo dead is a native that went hungry. So all in all, it was a win for them. You know why I bring this little story up, Kilgore? Save the environment? Don't massacre species, maybe? No. No, 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 no. You gotta learn from the winners and take fucking everything. You know what, man? I gotta go. Go where? You know, roar like the Niagara, flow like the Nile, reanimate the local kingdom plantae. Huh? I gotta take a piss, Kilgore. Oh. Alright, I gotta go.
All right, let's get out of here. Off to Lake Pyru we go. That's right. Hey, Kilgore, I just got some gas. You want me to get you a drink? Uh, yeah, water or something? Yeah, sounds good. You fellas going camping? Uh, yeah, I'm with my little brother going to Lake Pyro. Pyro? People gone missing down the Lake Pyro? Um. Sweet, but to see some fine city folk as yourself gone missing and gone in the papers again. We'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're gonna do with that boy? Spoke cinnamon in the bear? Get the fuck off of me. Let me see what you got. Ah, shake your danger. Shut the fuck up or I'll crack your head open like a watermelon. Now what do we got here? Really, kid? A fucking Snickers? If you're gonna commit petty theft, make sure it's something over $20. And when you walk out next time, don't be smiling. That shit's a dead giveaway. Look, kid. You're Mexican, right? Yeah, what about you? You know, that means you're half Spanish means you're half conquistador. You know what that means? That means you're half badass. See, we came over here and we fucked shit up. Do you know who we fucked shit up for? The natives. Now that's the other half. Let me tell you a little story. You see, back in the 1800s, the natives used to hunt these big ass fucking animals called buffalo. They had these big ass horns and you know what? Fuck that. Just respect your elders and don't do drugs because that shit will just slow you down. And um, here. Get your mom something nice for Christmas. So next time you get busted on some bullshit like this, she'll at least remember that cute little gift you got here. Anyways, get out of here, kid. I gotta scram. Thanks for the $20, you fat ass. Hey, what are you expecting, the Pope? Here's your drink. Check this out. Okay. But, Dwayne, look over... Where'd he go? Dwayne, there was a... There was a guy, he was... He was the... There was a guy just right there. He was the same one that was out in the fields. He has, like, a scarf and a weird hat and a briefcase. And, you know, he, he was... He was just... It was really funny, he was just staring at us. You know, back in the field he was staring at us. Right, right there. No, Kilgore, you're just seeing things. And if it is him, then he probably just recognizes us or something. Well, I don't remember him, and I definitely remember a guy like him. You know, Kilgore, I think you're just seeing things, man. Go back to sleep. We're 30 minutes out of Pyru anyway. All right, whatever. Hey, Kilgore, come on, wake up, man. We're at the lake. Let's go out, bro. Let's go look at the lake. Uh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yep. Nice and secluded. It's perfect.
glad I brought my swim trunks. They let you swim in there, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but in my opinion, this lake's filled with so much mercury, PCB, and random pesticides that if the strong currents and snakes don't get you, then whatever the hell else is in that water definitely will. That's a shame. A real shame. Doesn't matter. We're here. Come on, Kilgore, let's go set up. Recording. Damn. Hey, Dwayne. Look at what I found. Bam. Now you're ready for camping, partner. Pew pew. Come on, man. Help me out with this stuff. Oh yeah, my bad. Hey, okay, Dwayne. Let me set the camera down on this chair over here. Yeah. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Mr. Big Man. Come on, man. Oh yeah, my bad. My bad. Let's go! Eight tries later, bro. Yeah. Eight tries. Go. We did it. Yeah. I got a whiz. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna go get some uh, wood. Is that like a person or a thing? I don't see anything. Are there fucking mountain lions out here, dude? <laughs> hey, get a pic of this. <gasps> Did I look sick? Hey, Dwayne. Get a photo of me in front of the mighty California condor. It's a real shame that these things went extinct. Weak ass bird. All right, I think it's going. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. Did it do it? I think so. Look at this little dumbass. Just sit in there. What you thinking about, Kilgore? Your mother? Hey, Dwayne.
Wieners and ketchup, huh? Real breakfast of champions, Kilgore. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. So, uh, how are things over at the dealership? Ah, uh, you know, business is great, the money is great. Really rising through the ranks, you know? So, uh, what have you been up to since I've been gone? Take off the tip. Listen, Santino, I understand you're upset, but you could either A, shoot me and use me as manure for your beautiful strawberry fields, or B, give me five minutes to explain how I could make you 400,000 presidential bills in two weeks, huh? Mm, not much. Cool, cool. So, uh, Kilgore, how long are you on break from that little whatever fairy liberal school of yours that's putting you in all that debt? Three weeks. Yeah, I haven't seen you in months because you've been out there writing that little book of yours. What even is that thing about? Well, uh, if I'm being honest, uh, lately I've had a pretty serious case of writer's block, unfortunately, but I've honestly been able to get a lot of inspiration since we've been out here. Just seeing the natural world like this really makes you put things into perspective. You know, like, I've even been writing about mom and dad. Like how the trials of life will purify our souls, but trust me, they'll, they'll take you to your breaking point. <coughs> so boring. Seriously, Dwayne? Nah, I'm just tugging on your dick, buddy. No, it's actually, it's, um, very profound. Yes. So, uh, what would be the main theme of your writings? Um, huh, I really don't know. There surely must be something. Love? Love? You should write your book about me, Kilgore. I'm the Francisco Pizarro of love. Top dog, numero uno. When I see a lady, I just... Rah, 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 rah. You know me. I'm a dog. I'm the Julius Caesar of this shit. You remember back in high school? I got every girl. Yeah, I know. Susie Schwartzman! You slept with Susie Schwartzman, didn't you, you bastard? No, buddy, buddy! Th no way, buddy! I don't know what you're talking about! She's ugly! You did, didn't you? I'm sorry, man. Did you like her or something? Did I, did I like her? I've been dating her for the last three months. I'm, I'm sorry, man, but you're not missing out on much. I'm gonna kill you. What? I'm gonna kill you! shit my bad bro i forgot about that but that shit was such a long time ago i, I thought you'd be over that by now i'm sorry ah uh, that's all in the past now what funny little rascals we were huh kilgore but anyway i'm sure you'll finish up with that little love book of yours and it'll be a huge hit with your little uh artsy fellas yeah but anyway, it sounds like you're doing good in that swanky rich kid college. That's good. Yeah, so, uh, how's my old town of Oxnard doing? Eh, you know, it's all right. Yeah, uh, you know? Yeah, I remember after the crash, we'd always go down to Santa Claus Lane and look at the decorations. They decorate the hell out of that street. Yeah, I remember we'd always have to go during the day because you wouldn't want to go at night because there'd be so many screaming children. Damn. That's what got us through those times. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I was going to wait till Christmas to give you this, but it's Christmas Eve, so I figured it's close enough. Oh, So shit. I got you a little something. Well, now I feel like an asshole. I didn't get you anything. Nah, it's fine. Bringing me on this trip, giving me all this inspiration, that's more than enough. Yeah, I know you're a big car guy, so I thought you'd get a kick out of this. 
It's a 70 Chevelle. Uh, it was your mom's dream car, you know? <laughs> Damn, she would have loved this. That these test dummies are me, or you, or someone you love. Watch. This is a great gift, Kilgore. I'm going to get a hot dog now. Oh, damn. Let me grab you some paper towels. Don't waste your time. I'm gonna wash up in the bathroom. All right, well, I'm gonna head down to the lake. Meet you there. Wow, you can't beat this view, can you? Yeah, we really made it. No way. Hey, Earth to Kilgore, quit your daydreaming, bro. Dwayne, look, he's... I swear, that's that's the guy from the gas station. Nah, that's that's clearly a hiker. Come on, man, we've only been out here for a few days and you're already going crazy on me seeing Cinnamon the Bear waving at you from across the lake. Pull yourself together, man. Yeah, you're right, you're right, I must be seeing things. Let's go back to the campsite, man. All right. You know what this used to be? No. It's a boat ramp. This oh. whole area used to be completely submerged underwater. Mm. Yeah, it's a real shame what it's done to the property value around here. I say Old Lake Pyro only has like eight years or something till it's all dried up. Wow, that's, that's sad. Well, at least it's not Kachuma, which will probably be gone in six, or Casitas, which only has like a few years left unless we get a good year of rain or something. Hmm, yeah, it's sad. Soon this place will just be a desert, I guess. You'll get used to it.
damn. When I look at that lake, it's sad, but beautiful. I'm glad I was able to see it at least. It's such a compelling view. It just makes me want to like, you know, sit here and just get a canvas and paint a picture of it for future generations to see. You know, you read about this drought in the paper all the time and you just sort of start to become numb to it. But when you're really out here and you really see it, it's a whole different experience. I think if everyone could just sit back and universally enjoy this view, then the world would be such a kinder place, you know? What the hell are you on about? Listen, this is your problem, Kilgore. You spend way too much time thinking about all of this stupid shit. Listen, when we get back, I got some money tucked away, and I got a plan to flip it and make it 20 times as much. And when I get that money, I'll become someone, and you could too. That's why you gotta come work with me with the dealership. Get your feet in the water a little. Hell, when you see all the money I get, all my respect, you'll practically be begging me for a job. Just wait, Kilgore, just wait. It's gonna rain wealth on us. It's gonna rain wealth on us. It's gonna rain. 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 He began to warn the people. He said, after a while, it's gonna rain after a while. Before the days and before the nights. And the people didn't believe him. And they began to laugh at him. And they began to mock him. And they began to say, it ain't gonna rain. It's 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 gonna rain. It's
I've just felt like a Everything okay, dude? You fucking left me! It became none of your business when you fucking left me! You know what this is, Kilgore? You know what this makes me? It makes me a god. You're just a fucking orphan. Okay. Whatever. Imagine that we're in the front seat of a car like this, 
that these test dummies are me, or you, or someone you love. Watch. Kilgore, talk to me. Look, Kilgore, I took you out here to protect you, man. We're out here for you. I never meant to put us in danger. I did all of this stuff for us. Look, someday you're gonna realize that there are a lot more important things in this world than that stupid lake. And whether or not it rains is completely based on how the big man upstairs is feeling that day. You know what you get without rain, Kilgore? Wildfires. And I'm not gonna let us burn. These books, they're not gonna take you anywhere, man. I'm trying to get us somewhere. God damn it, Kilgore, are you even listening to me? Whatever, man. Your brain is just so focused on that fucking lake. And it's already dead. But, like, who cares? We couldn't have done anything to stop it. I couldn't have done anything. It's not my fault. These things just happen. Don't give me that look. What could I have done, Kilgore? Tell me, goddammit. I, I couldn't have been there. I'm so busy. I, I, I worked so hard to make something for myself, and fuck! Whatever, man. I don't even want to talk about this shit anymore. It, it's stupid. It's living in the past. If only this, if only that. I can't live like that. It hurts. It hurts, Kilgore. It fucking hurts. Sure, I think about it all the time, but I couldn't have done anything, so it, it's not my fault. I don't even know how you begin to comprehend this shit. Kilgore, please, man. Tell me you understand. Please, man, tell me you understand me. Kilgore, come on. Just say something, man.
every morning and every night. Some are born to sweet delight, and some are born to endless night. And did those feet in ancient times walk upon England's mountains green? And was the holy Lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen? And did the countenance divine shine forth upon our crowded hills? And was Jerusalem builded here among these dark satanic mills? Bring my bow of burning gold, bring my arrows of desire, bring me my spear of clouds of gold, bring me my chariots of fire, I will not cease from mental fight, and shall my sword save at night, till we have built Jerusalem on England's green and pleasant land.
It's my brother, guys. I'll be right back, I swear. Okay. I'll be right back. Don't, don't cut that cake without me. I'll be back in just one second. Yeah, just one moment, guys, one moment. Hey, Dwayne, how's it going? Hey, Kilgore, buddy. Yeah, you know, business as usual. And, um, well, to be honest, I think I kind of outdid myself. Landed a pretty major deal, you know? Kind of stuff that might spell out some major opportunities for me. Wow, really? That's, that's awesome, man. Yeah, you know, there's always a spot open at the dealership if you want it. Hey, listen, I really appreciate it, man, but I'm gonna keep working at these books and see what I can do. All right, well, suit yourself, Edmano, but you know, my arms are always wide open for you. Hey, I bet you thought I forgot it was your birthday, huh? Well, I didn't. Yeah, well, you cut it real close this time. There's only 30 minutes until it's over. Yeah, but I still got it, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you did. And uh, I actually got you a little surprise for your birthday, bud. Listen, Dwayne, nothing crazy like last year. Please, please. Oh, no, 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 no. This shit's way better, Kilgore. Hey, Kilgore, your cake's ready. Ooh, sounds like you got a lot of girls in there, huh, Kilgore? All right, man, I'll get out of your hair. But, hey, I hope you have a good birthday, man. Thanks, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, wait, uh, one last thing. Yeah? Can't wait to see you, man. Yeah? I'll see you this weekend. And Dwayne, thank you for calling. Like, seriously, thanks. All right, bye. Bye.